same pro 23 Hey guys, so Cal Preppers here. Uh, thanks for all the well wishes and uh, whatnot uh, for me feeling better. Appreciate it. It's working. Feeling a little bit better today. Uh, I'm to do a quick video today on uh, this uh, Yesu VX8 DR or RD, one of the two. Um, did a uh, Mars Cap mod to it. Uh, they don't have, that I'm aware of, a software mod that works uh, for freeband yet, but uh, maybe that's just the case in the way the radio is made. Uh, unlike the, well, I don't have my uh, the X7 down here, but uh, uh, 92 Scalloped uh, helped me with that one uh, with his uh, software uh, modification. But anyway, I wanted to go over the... Uh, VX8 today, show you what I did. Uh, basically, there's a uh, underneath the battery here, there's a uh, plate. Looks very similar to this little black plastic thing. It's just a piece of sticky stuff that they put over uh, the opening on the back of the radio uh, that covers up. The, uh, the circuit board on the inside and uh, basically you got to take that thing off uh, it's super sticky there's no way to get it off without destroying it uh, and then when you do get it off it leaves a bunch of residual uh, adhesive stuck to the radio which you got to scrape off in order to replace the, uh, the fresh one there are two fresh ones that they give you in the radio and the purpose behind that is on that same circuit board there's a uh, little junction or plug where you can plug in a little module that will enable this radio uh, to communicate with a Bluetooth headset which is pretty cool but uh, anyway that's not what we're going to talk about today I just wanted to show you uh, what I did to make this modification and as well show you uh, what the differences in channel receiving and transmission are so be right back, got to move the camera, get you in better position so you can see uh, what it is. Okay, so uh, got the radio here, took the uh, battery off, and uh, let me see if I can find a pointing stick here. Uh, hmm, need something really, really pointy. This will probably work. Uh, over on the right side of the radio here, right at the tip of uh, this metal pointy thing uh, there is a jumper or on the circuit board where a resistor would sit and I have the resistor sitting here on a piece of tape I don't know if you can see it right there that's the resistor that I pulled out um, trying to think of a good way to uh, show it to you but anyway uh, these solder terminals are probably uh, two millimeters wide max and then the junction between them is probably a half a millimeter wide uh, so what I did was take a very thin uh, piece of uh, braided wire copper wire uh, like 22 gauge wire uh, stripped a little bit of the insulation off and then took my soldering iron and hit each solder joint just enough so that the heat would pull the solder off onto that braided wire and uh, I did that with both sides. I used a fresh uh, piece of wire for both sides just to get the, the solder off and then I went back once the uh, resistor came off and cleaned up that area to try to get as much residual solder off as I could let me uh, see if I can get the camera off. I'll give you a better close-up of this if I can. Okay, so... Let me get a light on here. Well, 
Okay. So here's the resistor. You can see it, that little black thing right there. Yep. Just to give you a sense of how small that is. Uh, let's see, what can I use? Uh, hmm. Well, not sure what to use here. Um, use the tip of a pen. Okay, here's a regular like pen, right? Fine tip on it. I'll move over to this resistor and I'll put the tip of the pen next to it. And then try to get in there. So you can see that resistor is about the size of a large grain of sand. Um, so you definitely want to have a uh, magnifying glass if you have uh, something like uh, this kind of thing to work with. You know, it's got a light inside and you can look through the magnifying glass. Uh, that would be key for this type of stuff. I uh, definitely don't want to use that or that or that. Just, you know, obviously. So right here, going back again, I'll turn the radio so it's upright. Uh, mainly the place you want to get at is right, right here. This, these two solder joints right here. And that little resistor sits in there. And basically, uh, I was on the internet browsing around and came across a site where a guy uh, shows you basically what it looks like before and with some instructions there and we'll uh, scroll down shows you what resistor what it looks like when you're done and uh, let me put you on pause and I'll uh, go to the page that tells you what gets opened up Okay, so uh, normally uh, the radio will uh, receive uh, all these bands that you see before you and uh, obviously it's got a pretty decent spectrum for receive side and then a little bit lower uh, you can see the uh, transmit bands uh, for this radio. Uh, you got your 6 meter, 2 meter um, uh, 1.25 meter and the uh, 70 centimeter bands there but with the mod you get uh, additional uh, Mars cap bands uh, between uh, 148 and 174 megahertz as well as uh, additional bands between 440 and 470 which is basically all your uh, FRS, GRMRS uh, frequencies. So uh, it is uh, quite the band change uh, for the radio basically doubles the uh, bandwidth on it. I haven't tested the uh, signal strength on it at all um, but Basically, my main purpose for this was uh, just have a small handheld uh, radio that uh, I can use out in the field or in case of an emergency or whatever. Um, it's a pretty cool little radio. Uh, so anyway, when you're done with this here, uh, you can tell that I cleaned up this little seal around here. And basically what I'm going to do is I have the this resistor um, taped or stuck to a piece of tape and I'm going to just take that piece of tape and stick it to the inside of uh, this cover that goes right back on the radio like this and the purpose of that sticker is to uh, 
give the radio uh, resiliency to water. Uh, I guess this tape is super sticky and uh, doesn't allow water to get in there. So anyway, uh, one thing I'd like to try right now before I cut you guys loose is uh, I want to uh, measure that resistor just to see really if it's a resistor or not because I've read online in places that uh, it's a uh, zero ohm resistor, meaning it's basically just a jumper. So. Uh, it just will, uh, you know, attach those two points, uh, making a circuit. So uh, let me get my uh, shit together here. I'll uh, measure that resistor, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I'm looking through my big old magnifying glass here. This guy's kind of hard to see. Looks like it's about a hundred and hundred and seventy ohm resistor, so check it on a different scale, see if it gives us a different reading around the same amount. I'm actually going to put it down here just in case it's pulling or getting interference off the computer. Yeah, it's tough to tell, but there's definitely uh, some resistance in this. Um, anyway, the micro tiny. So anyway, that's what's uh, going on with that YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, want to know a little more about how I went about it, uh, yeah, I can talk about it a little bit, I guess. Um, I can also. Uh, if you're interested, uh, shoot me a PM and I'll send you the link to the uh, site that I found the information to do the mod on. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, YouTube. Take it easy.